Greetings, 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 and welcome back to Influences, the place where I seek to encourage you uh, on your journey with God, where I seek to motivate you, where I seek to motivate myself as well in my walk with God. When I encourage you, I encourage myself. I believe that firmly. For the past few videos, we have been looking at encouraging ourselves. We have been looking at uh, moving out of the crowds and how crowds affect us as individuals. We've explored what crowds are. We've looked at the effects of crowds on people. Uh, we've looked at the types of crowds, of course, and the negative effects that such crowds can have on us as human beings. Today, I thought we should explore a little bit about how to effectively walk away from some crowds that are affecting us. So I want to read from page 73 of the book that we've been exploring. It's, what's, it's uh, Moving Out of the Crowd, and uh, it's a book that you can get on Amazon.com, uh, the author, Cesar Ina Paul, myself, and uh, it's pretty easy to get it. It's either uh, paperback version or also you could get it via Kindle. So I urge you to, you know, take the little time, take a time and go find it so you can read more, get a little more detail about some of the areas and the things that we've explored. I read from page 73. It says, we all know at least one person who has remained stuck in the rut of a sad life situation for years unending. For some, it is a bad habit. For others, a wrong and sinful relationship. For others, maybe cohabitation, which has never triggered an offer of marriage, maybe an extramarital affair, or drug use and abuse, addiction to pornography, the use of filthy language, swear words, and this list can be unending. So just a lot of things that people can possibly have in their lives that will help them to be stuck, you could say, in a crowd. Unfortunately, help is might not help might not necessarily be the best word, but you know, it contributes to that. One thing these all have in common is that they are all crowds, which lead to enslavement of the mind, the body, and the soul. God does not want us to be slaves, nor does he want us to see. Not, nor does he want to see us become puppets to the things and people we allow to take authority over our freedoms during our life's journey. A freedom promised to those who acknowledge God constantly through genuine surrender. We have a duty to embrace freedom by breaking free from the shackles that bind us. Even Christians can become enslaved if we are not careful. Even worse, it is that very group of people, Christians, who might doubt that it is possible for them to lose that freedom. I challenge you today, like I challenge myself, do evaluate yourself and with the various aspects of your life and see where you could or maybe where you have become entangled in the web of wrongdoing. This would be a great moment to step away, to vacate, or to begin the movement away from these shadows that's, that surround life and here's how you can do that. One, study the crowd. Take time out to explore the crowd. What about it? How is it affecting you? How did it become a crowd in the first place in your life? And what can you do to journey out of it? For you to journey out of it, you must study the crowd. You must know it. You must understand it. And not necessarily staying in it to understand it, but taking time out to maybe just research on, on yourself a little bit. How did you get to that point? Of being stuck in that crowd okay so ex explore the crowd a little bit find out a little bit more about it if it's a drug addiction know about the drug and, and and its effects on your brain for example and how how other people have probably you know conquered it and, and gotten out of it those who become you know free of, of, of that kind of addiction also observe the crowd's impact on you and your reaction to it observe the crowd's reaction to you and Observe the crowd's impact on you. Yes, it's impact and your reaction to it. So when the crowd, whatever the crowd, if it's drug abuse, if it's pornography, if it's an extramarital relationship that you're having, if it's you cohabitating and you're not comfortable in it because it's not the ideal life that the Lord has chosen for his people, whatever it is, how is it affecting you? Find out how are you reacting to it? You need to know that so you can, con you can counter uh, the things that are not good of it. Okay, you can create the, the avenues to fight it. Uh, the other one is to expect a sense of unhappiness. Yeah, in truth and in fact, 
in trying to move away from the crowd, it will, re it will require that you do things differently. So yes, at some point you will feel challenged, you will feel frustrated, you will feel unwanted self-doubt, for example, you wonder if you can actually continue, you will feel a sense of unhappiness from time to time. But if you know why you're doing it, then you're pursuing it, you keep pressing on, you persevere so that you can conquer and win. Okay, the other one is don't forget to say you are, so, you are sorry only when you really mean it. All right, if, you, if, it, if it's your, your crowd when you've exploded, it's causing you to hurt other people. Don't forget to say sorry. Don't be too proud rather and, and, and full of pride. And, you know, say, well, I'm not bothered. I'm just going to forget about it. No, if you've hurt people along the way because you've been stuck in a certain kind of crowd, it's important to say you are sorry and be humble about it because it requires good. It will help us. It will help you in the long term. Okay. The other one. Uh, be prepared to forgive some of those whom you may apologize for the rejection of the apology and their inability to forgive you. Be prepared to forgive some of those whom you may apologize to because they may reject your apology. Yeah, some people just might. And their inability to forgive you. There are people who are not at the place of forgiveness. And sometimes when we go to them and say, you know, I'm sorry, this happened and so on. And they might say, well, who cares? I don't care. You know, but it, it's very important that you get to the point where you know that that is a possibility so that if it happens, you're not shocked, but that you know how to continue to be the better person that you want to be all the same. Uh, you will miss the crowd. Be prepared for the times when you will miss the crowd because you will miss the crowd. If it's an addiction, you will miss it. It's not going to be easy to get out of it. You will miss the crowd, but which is better? Being stuck in a crowd or getting out of it and living a life of freedom, joy, peace, and happiness. And most importantly, having a better relationship with God and yourself. Think about that. And with that said, expect temptations. For temptations will come for you to get stuck in the crowd or to revert, to go back to the behaviors that will distract you, to go back to the thought processes that will distract you, to go back to the people who may not have been wholesome for your life. So temptations will come. Remember, you have to be prepared for it. So these are some of the things that you have to bear in mind um, in the process of, you know, trying to effectively move away, you know, from from those 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 crowds or to walk away. Um, prayer is a key factor, a cornerstone throughout this entire process. So don't leave the prayer out. Don't leave the word of God out at all. So we will. Next time, explore how to successfully stay away. So once you've made the, the effort to go away, you have to think about staying away. What can you do to not just move away once, but to be persistent in the process? We will explore that another time. Thank you again for joining me. Thank you for being a part of this, this, this effort to encourage and to motivate and to grow together. And I, I ask you again, like I always do, to share the video with somebody who you think can benefit from it. But also, I encourage you if you've not subscribed to this channel and you like what you hear in terms of encouragement you feel motivated in your walk with god you feel encouraged i kindly ask you to share it with somebody whom you love and care about and hopefully they too can benefit from the, the experience as we grow together if there is anything you'd like me to share with you um, about it as it pertains to some level of encouragement feel free to send me a private message dm me or um, send me a message and i, I will try to to explore those those areas if if it's something that i think it's that i can do all right so let let me know and i would i look happy i would be happy rather to hear from you i'd be happy to hear from all of you thank you again may god bless you and pray with me as i always try to do before we end father in the name of jesus i thank you for the opportunity to share with my friends about how, if, how to effectively move away from the crowd and how to spot the crowds in our lives. The things, oh God, that cause us not to be the people that you want us to be. The things, Lord, that clutter our walk with you. The things, oh Father, that serve as distraction and detractions in our lives. Father, Lord, we call them out today, Lord, and we place them at the feet of the cross. And we ask you, Abba Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit to guide, to protect, to direct us, so that we may make good choices for your glory and for your honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless you today and always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.